after the excellent HDR implementation in Doom Eternal, my expectations in Doom the Dark Ages was pretty high. Unfortunately, right now, the HDR implementation in the Dark Ages is a very big disappointment. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. What can I say? Right now, HDR in this game is just broken. I consider it broken because we're talking about a very, very washed out picture. As soon as you enable HDR or as soon as you play this game in HDR, and it really doesn't matter if you play this game on the PC or Xbox. And by the way, I haven't touched the PlayStation 5 version right now, but I'm pretty sure in regards to HDR, it's exactly the same. But again, as soon as you play this game in HDR, it's just a very washed out experience. And as always, my friends, before we start, please do me a very, very big favor. Please like and subscribe. And if you have a little bit more time, please also share. Thank you very much. And the easiest way to demonstrate the difference between SDR and HDR is actually a side-by-side -side comparison. And when we just focusing on contrast at the moment or on a washed out look, then you can see the HDR presentation is very bad actually. Yes, in regards of specular highlights, obviously the HDR version offers a much better experience, but in regards of contrast, I really like the SDR version, in this case, much better. And you can make SDR even better because right now, all what I have shown you is actually with the standard factory setting gamma set to 1.0 for the SDR settings. And when you now follow the instruction on the screen, and I have done this for my LG G4 in a very, very dark room, I actually end up with a value between 1992. So of course, this depends on your screen TV or monitor. But after setting this up according to the screen information, SDR looks even better. And the main reason why this game looks very washed out when you play in HDR is the HDR black level floor. And we have seen many, many games, lately many, many games, where the HDR black level floor is hovering around 0.05 nits. And I tend actually to say that's still okay. It's not perfect, but that's still something where you can live with it. But in this case, we're talking about a HDR black level floor of around 0.25. So 0.25 nits. This is much, much higher than 0.05 nits. And that's why this game looks so washed out. And at this very moment, I couldn't find any HDR settings to mitigate or eliminate the HDR black level race. There is no setting right now what you can use to get a better HDR black level floor. I mean, yes, there is, but then you have a very dark picture or you have no HDR specular highlights anymore. So right now, my only recommendation is in regards of the HDR settings, leave everything as it is out of the box. The only thing what you should adjust is the maximum peak brightness. And just to make this clear, no, there is no difference between HDR10 and Dolby Vision on the Xbox. And the reason is very simple. This game does not support Dolby Vision natively. That means as soon as you play this game in Dolby Vision, the game will use the HDR10 metadata and that means you have the exact same HDR black level floor, you have the exact same bad experience. Okay my friends, so it doesn't happen very often that I recommend to play a game in SDR instead of HDR. I actually even can't remember when this was the last time, but in this case, play this game in SDR. I'm very sorry for that, but the HDR presentation right now is broken in my opinion. So even the settings doesn't work quite well in my opinion. So not as I would expect actually. And I compared of course Doom Eternal, the settings in Doom Eternal with Doom the Dark Ages. They are quite similar in terms of naming, but they're actually doing a little bit different things. So I would really consider right now that HDR is broken in this game. I mean, look at the HDR black level floor. There's no way that this should be normal, okay? So I would say that maybe when they actually, yeah, I mean, I don't, I really don't know what happened actually because there is no excuse for something like that. I mean, I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm very sad actually. I'm very, very, um, I, I don't know what to say actually. This is, this is, yeah, unfortunately, I was expecting so much more because Doom Eternal, 
showed a very, very great HDR presentation out of the box without changing any settings actually, because it was just dialed in pretty, pretty well. This one on the other hand, it's just terrible actually in HDR. As soon as you switch over to SDR, by the way, I would recommend that if you play this game on the PC in SDR, disable HDR in Windows again, okay? not just in the game, because otherwise you still have uh, some sort of um, yeah, race, HDR black level race, okay? So make sure you disable HDR actually in Windows, okay? To make sure you have the best SDR experience. On the Xbox, and again, please keep in mind, I haven't tried the PlayStation 5 version yet because um, yeah, it's just too expensive to buy two or to actually get the premium edition on the PlayStation 5 because they're asking for 160 Australian dollars here. And I will just wait until the yeah, official release. We'll grab it as a physical uh, copy from JB Hi-Fi and then I will do a retest. I also like to know actually when there is the um, official release if there's a day one patch in regards of performance because as we know the Xbox Series X version and by the way that's actually true it runs just flawless there's not a single dip not a single issue in terms of stuttering okay so but I like to know of course if the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Pro version can deliver the same with maybe a day one patch but again in regards of HDR there shouldn't be any difference between, or well, there is for sure no difference between PC and Xbox, and there shouldn't be any difference between PlayStation 5 console and PC, uh, or PlayStation 5 Xbox and PC. That's, of course, not good, because HDR, as we learned, is not a great experience. So again, right now, I would recommend to play this game in SDR, make sure you adjust the screen according to the screen instructions, and then you have actually a really great experience. The game so far is pretty, pretty good. I had a lot of fun. The soundtrack is always absolutely amazing. But again, HDR, a very big disappointment. I hope for a very, very quick patch because Doom Eternal shows exactly how it should be done. Thank you very much for watching me.